day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Ten. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video we just sent out. We had on the 7th of June. Uh, this is a probably part C for that. And and we moved the fact is, and I told you last time, you know, we, we were talking about operating in love. And we talked about it first Corinthians 13, chapter 13. And and, and I'll read that. It's, it says, uh, though I speak with tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, which is love, I have become a sounding brass, a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faiths that I could remove mountains and have not love, charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity and prophecy, nothing. Charity suffers long and is kind. Charity envies not. Charity falters not itself, is not puffed up, does not behave unseemly, itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. I, I want to kill that one piece right and say is that if, if, if love is not behind it, I am nothing. And you have to ask yourself as you listen to this video. If you don't have love behind you in everything you do toward your fellow man, you are nothing in the eyes of God. I'm just telling you what the scripture said. I'm putting the scripture right there. It's, it's, po it's posted right there in front of me. I'm going to put these to the side a little bit more so I can do that. I'm putting it right there for you to see. You are nothing if you operate out of love. I am nothing if I operate out of love. I'm just a tinkling symbol if it's not by love. Not by fear. We don't want to operate in fear and say, oh Lord, is, is somebody that's not like me, doesn't look like me, doesn't have the same color as me, I think they're going to do something. If you're going to put yourself, put everybody, every individual in one box, you are not operating in the understanding that God wants every individual. Remember we talked about the scripture said, he wants to know your name. He called his chief by name, by their name. That's individual. He knows the number of hair on your head. That's individual. God looks at us individually. God does not look at us based on the color of our skin. God does not even look at us based on our nationality or the country or where we come from. God does not look at that. He looks at you as an individual. And if he looks at you as an individual, then you have to operate that way too. You have to think that way as well. You have to understand I am nothing. You are nothing if you're not operating in love. You can sit there and do all you want. And you can get the approval of people who can't put you in heaven. They can't even put you in hell. We can't sit there in our life try to get approval by people. We have to get our approval by God, through God. And we have to do that by love. The Bible said that God is love. And if God is love, then we, as the children of God, are operating in love toward one another. That was the Bible said to love one another. He said he's given us his word, and his word has made us one. He didn't say his, the color made us one. He said the word made us one. There's people who have grown up learning to hate because their parents taught them. And you have to say, I'm one of those people. And I believe that you're not. If you're sitting there listening to this video, you're not one of those people. You're one of those people to sit there and say, God, I want to hear from you. And we want you to be able to, to be able to allow that love of God to be able to walk with you and be able to spread it to other people. Give him back. Give him love. You plant love, you get love. You plant hate, you get hate. You plant fear, you get fear. What do you want to do? What are you planning? I said plant the right thing. Because that's what God wants you to do. Amen? All right. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I think you continue to uh, come back and watch our video. 
And like I said, I, I don't know if I told you, but we also try to do little five minute segments too uh, in the videos. Most of these commentaries I'm also trying to do within five minutes as well. So you check the clock, you'll see what I'm talking about. All right, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later. Amen. God bless. Bye bye. But but you know, Jesus, was part of them. Exactly. Jesus literally died for the people. And, and you gotta kind of look, look at the tightness that he employed and think Come on. it works because Come on. the Roman government is no more, but Come Jesus on. is still here. Come on. The hey, USSR look. is not here, it is not a nation anymore. The Union of Soviet, Soviet Russia is disintegrated, but the kingdom of God is still being propagated even but through. That, that situation because it wasn't allowed in Russia initially, so Russia's gone, but the kingdom of God is being imported. Hey, we expect hey, it's going to be some loss. Hey, look, and don't forget this, Elder, too. What were the children of Israel looking for uh, when the Messiah showed up? What they were looking for another David, Chris, they were looking for another people to help rise up and go after the Roman Empire. I mean, that's what they're looking for, they were looking for something that resembles going in the flesh. A warlord. Yep. Didn't it? Yep. But God well, said, I think they were they were they were looking for someone to put them in a pitch, a position above everyone else. Yes sir, right. Um mm -hmm. they, they were looking at at a a, a worldly uh -huh. view of God's plan. Amen. And just like everyone was saying, you know, and I, and I totally agree with it. Jesus war on humanity was against their heart. Yes. And their minds. Yes. It wasn't against this world system. Uh -uh. He had already he he that was his battle That's personally. Right. Come on now. Over this world, and this world system. He did that for us. Like a king should. Come on, and bro. the great thing about it is it doesn't matter who you affiliate with. Once this king <laughs> goes into the battle Come on, with bro. your heart and your soul, you cannot Woo. win. <laughs> you cannot win. And that is the kingdom That's that the we kingdom. have been talking about and that our Lord and Savior has dominated by force. Woo. Woo. And so once we realize that, this outer shell <laughs> is not what our kingdom is about. Come on, brother. And this world and this world system has blinded the eyes of those people Woo. who do not know that Boy. they think that the outer shell Woo. <laughs> is what's important, but it's the inner man that we should all be striving for. Come on. Once we realize that, which is a form of what's going on right now, right, right, then everybody can join together, all race, all creed, all, 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 you know, everything. <laughs> Everyone can bond together based on the heart we realize that the kingdom of god takes precedence over everything anyway anyway that's what you know what and, and and i agree with everything that's being said because it has to be done in righteousness at 100 yes. but the but you have to understand i think that a lot of uh, uh a lot of the rhetoric that we use now is the same rhetoric they use to keep us yeah. under that it was, you know, it's God this and that and, and, and turn the other cheek. And so they used all that against us. But where we are today is Protestants. By well, the the question roots. is, did they lie? But, no, they did. Did they lie? But No, but that but they used it in a manipulative way right. for a particular reason that was not righteousness. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yes. The, yes. The, the, reason why, the reason why we call ourselves Protestants is because of what? Just they because protested against the Catholic Church, because there was a protest, that the doesn't protest. mean it's unrighteousness yeah. or it's against God that you protest. Right. It's the way you protest, and, yes, and I'm and I'm and I and I and I feel you on that. Yeah. The way that we're protesting, I, I disagree with a lot of it, but yeah. the fact of the protest, we're Protestants. We're our foundations that we that we stand on right now was based on the fact that we protested. Come on, that bro. Come on. You see yeah. what I'm saying? No, yes, I do. Sir, I, in protest against unrighteousness. Come on, brother. Mm -hmm. 
in a righteous way. I, I'm, a, yeah. I'm with you 100%. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's what that's what carries the day. And that's why, if we don't mind, we can, let's, let's, because what you just said, if you don't mind, this, uh, back to Elder Johnson, Elder Johnson, that way you can talk and you can read these scriptures at the same time. It goes in line with it. So don't, don't, you don't have to read it, keep reading it all the way through. Just, you know, expound on it as you, you can talk about anything if you read them, is what I'm saying. Do I speak with the tongues of men and of angels? And have not charity, I have become a sonic brass and a tinkling cymbal. And that's what he was trying to say. Isn't that what De uh, uh, Jim was trying to say? You 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 spoke the words, but if it, it, it did not have any love behind it, then it is just it's just a tinkling cymbal. It this is focused on the personal gain yeah. instead of instead of spiritual gain. Come on, instead bro. of instead of love it, there was no love in that that was personal that was for personal gain and glory yeah and that's what it was and that's why they sound <laughs> like yeah. brass yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah right. come on brother what you got but, up? But the kingdom itself is built upon this principle you know, everything that he's talking about right here in this bible i mean in this verse and this verses to me form the foundation and it also forms the the connection between the, the individuals within the kingdom. Come so on. that though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mystery and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. Nothing. Oh, that's rough stuff. That's rough Come stuff. on. Hey, hey, I like that. Nothing. nothing you, you are right. nothing. You, <laughs> I mean, that's what he's trying to show you. Our country, if we operate outside of love, then we are unprofitable. Nothing. And we are becoming nothing. But I'm saying is when you do operate in God's way, it has a lasting effect more than anything else. Amen, man. It's eternal. Woo! Go ahead, brother. And though I bestow all my goods to, to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Nothing. Charity suffers long and Woo. is kind. Ooh. Charity envious not, charity altered not itself. Come on. It's not puffed up. Come on. Does not behave behaved its, itself unseemly. Uh-huh. Mm. Seem seek is not her own. Woo. It is not easily provoked. Woo! Think it's no evil. Come on now. I mean, I mean, I'm just telling you. God not to go our leader, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, when, yeah, when, you look like at, <laughs> when you when you look at it, uh, that that that's a true kingdom. That is a king. That, that that's talking the mind of a king right there. Yes, sir. <laughs> the mind of a king already has everything, so Woo. it has nothing to do with him. Amen. It's about the people. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So yes, it's, sir. this is this is a uh, a. Uh, uh, a king shows charity Woo. towards his people, Come and on, it is brother. not. Pro it doesn't profit the king. Come on. And the people don't suffer. I mean, the people don't mm -hmm. suffer long. They 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 get kindness from their king. They get Come charity on. from their Come king. On. Come on. The king doesn't vaunt itself. Uh -uh. He's uh -uh. not puffed up. <laughs> he doesn't behave unseemly. And, and, and if I, I, I mean that 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 to me is is it's a picture picture image of our God. Woo! <laughs> and, and, and that I like to address to uh, Brother Chris and uh, and Jimmy. Why would God raise us up to take the place of folk that aren't like that? And that became an issue for me. It's like it's good to get, it's, it's it's natural to fall into the flesh and want revenge and retribution. But if he raises you up over people and you hate them, or you have ill feelings toward them, it is natural for you to abuse them. I don't think God is raising black men up in America. And this is a bigoted perspective for me, probably. He's not raising us up to take vengeance on them. He's raising us up to lead them into His presence to show them what the kingdom looks like and the validity thereof. I mean, the, the value thereof. And that's a very difficult position for us to be in because it requires us to submit ourselves to him first, actually 
decide that we're going to love these people prior to him elevating us above them. But God has the power to pull down one nation, one people, and raise up another. He raise up that. another. He does. And we think in terms of the power of our words, Peter did not shoot Ananias and Sapphira, but they dropped dead. Mm -hmm. And we are living in the same dispensation. Do we believe in uh, Psalm 91 that he'll give the angels charge of us the bear so at least we that we won't fear the chair night? Can we walk through, can we leap walls and run through a troop? Come Is on, God now. with us to the extent that he can exert I and mean, he can call upon supernatural interventions to prevent us from dying and, until he decides that it's so? Did they really go into the fiery furnace? Do we really have these things available to us to function in this realm, or do we have to fear? be fearful about everything. Is there an appointed time for us? And can any man take us before God allowed them to? If we are walking in accordance with his will? And that becomes, for me, it's, are we aligning ourselves rightly with this God so that he can perform those things? Something that disturbed me, and I'm gonna shut up about this. Uh, disturbed me slightly was that the young man, when he was dying, when the young man was dying, he called upon his mother. He constantly, entreated that officer to get his knee off of his neck. Uh -huh. Captain came back and said, we could do all things that y'all just get your knee off our neck. We're yeah. still appealing to people that might not have the ability to do it. Come on now. I mean, why would a, a, a murderer stop killing you? Uh -huh. How can a dead mother raise a man off of you? Right. But if you call on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, he could have dropped that dude right where he stood. And that's the one thing that we don't really embrace. The fact that he can do that, he can do it. He can. He yeah. can do it. I mean, a man does not have more prowess over us and more control over us than God does, and that's in the smaller things. You can die from a stroke. It doesn't have to be a bullet, and you can have the biggest gun that you can carry. What the hell, hell is he going to do with a gun with a virus? <laughs> this guy's in the courthouse with a gun, <laughs> like he's going to shoot the virus. That is foolishness. Now that's awesome, right there, because when you really look at this, um. There, there was a time where you couldn't find ammunition for any, any weapon because our Caucasian brothers was out there buying all of it up. <laughs> and then God allowed something that cannot be shot with <laughs> all that ammunition. <laughs> and so it was like, well, you know, they, they, they labored in vain. In vain. You know? It wasn't going to be profitable. No. 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 And so now, you know, they, they need, they need, uh, they need something <laughs> to use these weapons up. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, they're just sitting there and, 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 you know, it's like if you got a toy, you want to play with. Right. Yep. Right. You well, know, you and then you want to use it for its purpose. There's no righteous. No. Let me. Let me listen that because there was no righteousness in the invention of that thing to begin with. Exactly. As, as part of as part of this discussion, I just like to also just ask this question, not try to trying to show my position or anything, just kind of to raise this. I don't think of there's ever been a kingdom that didn't have an army, uh -huh. and even even the Israelites they had an army and they had right. soldiers, right? And and obviously if they did. They had them for a reason. Yes, sir. And so, how does how do we how do we also, in the same conversation that we have, incorporate the fact that he also had an army, yes, and sir. every kingdom has an army? Yes, how does sir. that also factor into this same conversation that we're having as relates to righteousness and God's way, and so on and so forth? Why was there an army? Why did he have an army? Why did he command to fight? I mean, where was there an army even involved? I mean, uh, but, I'm just 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 bring yeah. all that into the conversation as well too, yes, and sir. get it balanced is what I'm asking. Well, what and and what I what I like to put it in perspective because it it brought me all the way back to the being delivered from Egypt. Uh, there was no army uh, when he delivered them from Pharaoh in Egypt. Yes. Uh, Elder, one of the things was that the heart of the Pharaoh would not repent, would not give in to each of the different plagues that God put on that nation because their mm -hmm. heart was so hardened, right? 
and then the children of Israel, God says in the scripture is that he fights the battles. You, mm -hmm. you even, even though he had armies, he, remember that one time Jimmy they had the praise team go before, uh, I think it's Jehoshaphat, to, 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 to go for this battle, but the God said, this battle's not yours. Amen. This battle's mine. I, 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 I'll use you when I need you. You'll be, you'll be in the right place at the right time when I need you, but I want, I want to make sure that as God changes the hearts of Pharaoh, as God changed the hearts of those who hate, God wants to make sure that you know you didn't change them, he changed them. You didn't deliver yourself, he delivered you. He did it. Yeah. That is absolutely Huh? That is absolutely correct. Woo. But the but the but the but the musicians, they went out in front That's of the right. army. That's right. But God but God decided I'm gonna do this a certain way and so on and so forth. Amen. And, and you you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right that again, as I said, I think initially that it's all at God's direction. It's, it's all by God's command. We take all commands from the tower and Come they on, come brother. from him. So uh -huh. we only operate in what he tells us to do when he tells us to do it the way he wants us to do it so that we don't get the glory, but that he always gets the glory. He and I'm 100% in agreement with that. Come yes, on, because even, that we, we, go ahead. We, I have done in the past is I limited God's operation, uh -huh. his capabilities. Like the brother was saying, you got a guy went out and bought all these bullets and then got nothing to shoot him at. Woo! Or destroyed with viruses. And we read in the Old Testament where he would kill hundreds of thousands in a night. Uh -huh. so, and it's like, why do they have, you can't imagine it. Well, we've seen it. We've seen it happen right now. It happened during the Civil War. <laughs> it happened during the mid Middle Ages. I mean, Come the on. Black Egg wiped out, I don't know how many hundreds of thousands of people. Come on. So God has agents in, 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 a, in an army. Woo. Praise God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We are just the visible contingency of God's army. We are a part of that fighting force. Come there on. is a thing called propaganda that they use mightily in most wars quite quite a bit. And I was just called a gospel. Right. I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God, the salvation of them that believe. Right. We have continually throw our weapons out there as well. <laughs> we, but what we have done is we seek, I think, to to kind of like make treaties with the devil and uh you know make things, you know, kind of like with, with our white brothers when they made treaties with Native Americans, they broke every last one of them. So it's, uh -huh. it's, it's safe. You can't make treaties with this guy. No. We have to go after him. And and the gates of hell are not to prevail against us. We are the ones on the we are the on the attack. Come on, the problem is we're not. Come on. And we're not saying we're physically going to go out there and beat somebody up or shoot somebody. We haven't been given that mandate except maybe on an individual basis. Yes, but sir. we have been given the general order of going out and propagating the Stand gospel. Up. <laughs> yeah, we not only preach. are we given yeah. that, yeah. but we're empowered by certain things like healing and laying on hands and and, and, and drinking it. If we're trafficking in his his line of thought and his in his mission, we're going to get the logistical support that we we was required. He right. said, "Go forth and preach the gospel, and these things shall these signs shall manifest. <laughs> All these things shall be added unto you." So he's telling us, "If you do what I ask you to do, if you, you get it, yeah, come on. If you go out and do this job, I got you covered." Come on, man. He also tells us, "You shall be hated of all men." Uh huh. Right and now, we may we got we showing them the way, all right. But when we start talking about those things that are against the will of God, and you it's know, coming right over us. <laughs> right now, we might have the sunlight and the shine and everything. Jesus was popular as long as he was feeding the folk. Come on now. He start and, telling them, bring. <laughs> hey, 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 don't forget the fact is that when when they went to AI, because they didn't do it, huh? They, it was they, some sin they, in the they, camp. There's sin in the camp. If you if, if you want to be part of God's army, you got to make sure that you're operating under His will, and you got to understand you give Him the glory because He's the one that's gonna bring it through. That's all I'm trying to say. And I think when you're talking about Philippians three ten again, that I may know Him, mm -hmm. and the power is that power of the resurrection to operate on our behalf to go forward. See, I think religion has caused us too many times to sit there and, to, and paint Christians as some kind of weak, weak person. No, you it takes a stronger man to stand up to hate. Yeah, yeah. 
You know, it well, does. You know, I, yep. I like I like to think of it as when like into the military of the United States. Come on, brother. You know, when you got people down in the weeds, the people on the front lines, when they're told to go do something, they don't question that order. They go and <laughs> do it. <laughs> and likewise, it should be with God. We're, we're going to war. So when we're told to do something, you should just do it. I mean, what happens to people in the military when they don't follow orders? Come on, man. There's, there's a price to pay. <laughs> there's a price to pay, you know? And the 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 support of the the resources for that individual cease to exist when he doesn't follow orders. Well, so that, I, I, like I, I, into the, the kingdom of God. When we're following yes. the desires and the will of our God, who Come on, is brother. our commander in chief, our, our Lord, our King, Come on now. then the resources that are available for the army are right there at the fingertip, and no weapon formed Woo. against you shall prosper. Come on. Well, you know, and I and I agree with all that. I, I, and again, just for conversation's sake, I would also like to say that. So then, I mean, I just think it's I don't know to assume that if anything is done in violence, then it's not of God. No, but then that, I know God killed. Thing. But 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 then I know God killed a lot of people. And if it was just love of God and changing hearts, then why did He have nations wiped out? Why did He kill a lot of people? Why did all these things happen? And so. Sometimes I think the rhetoric or what they're trying to tell us is that if it's in violence, it's not of God. If you do something, you know, that is not bowing down or bending your back or just accepting things and just attacking it through prayer, then it's not of God. And I just think, I, I don't know if I truly accept that position because I don't think that truly depicts God or the Bible or it's history. Not, it, you know what I'm saying? So it, I just, I just, yeah. I just I, think... I, that we just have to be, we just have to be careful I mean, God, in, in, God. In, in, in that position when we say it in such a way, because it almost seems like if anything is, 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 is in violence, then automatically it's not of God. And I, I don't know if I can really take that position wholeheartedly and say, that's a true statement. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. I think, I think and I agree that I don't want, if, and I, I'm glad you're making sure you're making sure that people get a good balance of this. There, there, there's a time, you, and you brought it beautifully when you talked about there's a time of peace and there's a time of war. There's a time to fight, right? But it's just understanding that you want to do it in the time that's divine, that, that, that Carol's time, that calling that God says, do this, and then be effective in that. We, what I really want to make sure people understand is in Ephesians, I think it's Ephesians, uh, Bishop, it says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. If you sow in hate, if you sow in violence, and that's what that's what this country is getting back right now when you did do the protest, when you did do the looting, is because that's what's been planted in the hearts and the minds of the people in this country. But now what you're seeing is the one that's happening resonating worldwide, not just countrywide, worldwide, is the peaceful approach to addressing an injustice, is what I'm saying. It